Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of The Last Faith. Last time we left off, we were making some new progress in the Telwanil village area, and um, the comments are mentioned it was this character that they were uh, sp specifically talking about, which, yeah, you did mention come see you when I found children, so... Oh, yeah, you know, that makes sense, that makes sense, yep, 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 yep. All right. I feared I would not lay my eyes upon or hold such a precious child again. Never have I seen such generosity from a stranger. It almost feels like they showed me this character like too early. It was it was a hot minute when we found this care like when we found this character versus when I finally found one of the unborn children. Is that all I got? Okay, I got two of them. Okay, so we turned we turned them in. You don't really have much to say about it. You're just like, oh, that's cool. Kids are cool. And uh, that's kind of it. But, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So that is taken care of. Um, so we need to get back to... Here? Here. Yeah, there's there's uh there's area to explore here. So this is this is where we need to go. Um that I still need to do all of the You know what? Let's let's just go over here. What what does this require again? It won't open. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, and then this is over here. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Just just trying to refamiliarize myself with uh the zone and what we were doing and all that jazz. Um, so, we want to be over here. And we want to go up the elevator that I kept, you know, falling by. I wonder if that would crush me if I got under it. I wonder how the game would handle that, because I've, I've had games that crushed me when I did that, and I've had games that, um, uh, what's the word? I've had games that would crush me, and I've had games that would just kind of, like, mush me out of the way. So... Few different, uh, different answers. But, uh, you know. Uh-huh. Coca Bluey, please. Thank you. My weapon's still doing that weird thing I was talking about it was doing last time. It feels like it's only against those enemies, maybe? But... Because it works? No, didn't do it there either. Weird, right? Super, super weird. Alright, so, yep, let's uh, continue this away. Oh yeah, you're the one that was pretty annoying. Uh-huh. Ow. Stop that. Bye-bye. If that attack had hit me, I might have died, but uh, it didn't, so we're good. We are totally fine. Uh, I'm kind of interested in what's actually down here. I can't really get a good peek. Oh, wow. You can jump between areas like that, huh? That is interesting. Did not expect you to be able to do that. So before we go all the way up there, let's let's stick to the slower path. What do, what do you got for me? Besides a room full of dorks. Yeah, that's one way to handle it. Cool. Big damage. Give me oxide. Bunch of boxes for me to break to get more bullets, but... What am I gonna need this for? I mean, obviously up here, but... Ah, okay. Hi. So let's do that. Drop back down here, bait that into falling. Alright, so. Give me bomb. Yep. Okay. Good. And kablams, though. There we go. Alright, so where exactly does this go? Ooh. Okay. That, that goes out to things. I don't know that I want to do that quite yet. Come on. And let's just roll under that one. 
Okay. Yeah, so we need to come up from there, actually, to, to be able to do this. Okay. I'll go grab that. I'll go grab that. Seems like it just opens up a shortcut. Effectively for us, so... I just wanted to see what the bottom path had. Oh, I gotta go all the way back around, too? Oh, I super do. Okay, never mind. We're continuing this way. I didn't know jumping down from there was gonna be such a... point of no return, I guess? Not a point of no return, but... you know... A point of... it's... it's gonna take you a minute to get back over here if you go that way. Let's go with that. Owie. How do I even get to that thing down there? Do I drop? I drop. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't worry about me. I want to take care of these things first, I think. Before I even try to deal with you. Alright, so... Hi! Okay. Uh-huh. This is a really unfair en encounter for you, because I can jump up between these two different areas and... You unfortunately cannot follow. Uh... what you got? Okay, down there is probably... death? Can I get in there? I don't think so, right? That's not somewhere I can jump into. Where is it? Kinda hard for me to tell. From right here. Aha! Well, this is how I get this set up. Cool. So yeah, now I can, uh, use this. Cool. To get up here. Yay! And that will allow me to get back down there, so... Let's, uh, take the trip really quickly. Ooh. Um... Hi. Well, I'm glad I actually took the elevator. Because this was hiding a ho ho he ho 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 ha An ancient double axe restored and permeated with the power of stardust. Combined, the heft of the blades allows for devastating cleaves, but they can also be separated to unleash the powers of Illigarth and a blizzard of nimble strikes. The two blades represent the fabled handmaids of Illigarth. Clear symbol of nobility. The Orden's family crest is grafted into the handle, a potentially valuable collector's item stolen from Manfred's noble court. Um. Ooh, okay. So this is like the opposite of what I'm currently using. Instead, yeah, it skills. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the it's just the opposite. Oh, I do love a good axe though. Oh, it's fe oh, it feels great. Big big smack weapon. Oh, that feels good. Unfortunately, I'm uh, you know, definitely sticking with this at this point, I think. But um that is very cool. If I had found that before this, I probably would have went with this as well. Just cuz it, it it feels good. I like a I like a good axe. So there are a lot of cool weapons. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Ooh, and that's super cool. Yeah, so it mentioned splitting them into two, and I was like, how is that going to look? And yeah, you split it into two, like, ice axes. Oh, hey, there's another unborn. Um, you split it into two ice axes and just kind of swing them really quickly. That's a super cool weapon. That's a super cool weapon. I like that weapon. Okay. Well, that was, uh... That was a neat find. That was a very neat find. If I had enough stuff, like I said, I would I would potentially use that. But um it doesn't scale as well with mine, so I think generally this is gonna be better in the long run because like I mentioned earlier, I get something else out of it. I get focus as well as damage, so. Uh 34? Yep, still giving me eight. Why not? And in here, hi, I got another kid for you. I feared I would not lay my hmm. When am I actually gonna get a reward from you? Don't know. Don't know. Have I still like? I I know I ran into that enemy when I did like one of the little, you know, like 
enemy gauntlet things that I did, but have I ever actually just run into them walking around normally? Maybe they were up here at the high walls of Mithringal or something, and I'm just, uh, forgetting them. Okay, god, it's so hard to parse where I'm actually supposed to be sometimes. So, uh, I think I want to go this way. Just, um, to kind of see the stuff I missed up here. Alright, so let's actually kick this down. Which allows me to do some things. It looks like it leads to uh, a treasure chest, which is neato. Okay, that was uh, unfortunate. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Owie. Okay, you just died to the poison that I did there. Uh huh. Big damage. And you're gonna pop. Cool. Okay, so now that I've done that and I've knocked this down, I can't believe I just walked into the next room. <laughs> Always the worst feeling in a Metroidvania when that happens. When it's like, oh, if I just walk forward just a little bit more uh, before like turning around, but there's also times when I've not turned around and just continued walking forward and it's been like, oh, you missed, you, you missed a mission critical item for like two hours. So I, I always like check out, try to check out each path now, just because it makes it a little bit easier. So, so I can try not to miss things, but you, you, you truly never know what the correct uh, answer is. Hindsight is indeed 2020. And through up here, go up, up, up. Throw. There we go. What you got for me? Cool things only. Orden's Palace Master Key. Manfred Orden's was the cursed custodian of the hidden dead. Till now, his body desolated by an iciness that infected him and so many others he once considered equals. This key will allow the wielder to follow in those doomed footsteps at their peril. Okay. So that means I can open all of those now. Uh, which will be cool, because there's quite a few of them. Well, that was a very important item for me to get, it seems, so I'm glad I came back for it when I did. So, Nito? Now, the question becomes... Can I get into that door? Like I thought I maybe could. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. And we... So, yeah, this right here, let's drop down and break Eric's legs just a wee bit because I want to rest up and then I'm going to come up here and see if I can just jump into that area. Like I said, it looks like it could be a door and an area that I could kind of walk into, but it also looks like I, I'll just dash into it and it'll be like, this is a wall and I will just fall to my death and it will be quite embarrassing. So, we'll see which one it is. Alright, so we... Nope, we can't actually come in here. Cool. Institute Scientia Record 2. A Nyctorn has fled its confinement, wild amongst the sepulchri, a vendetta on its mind. The poison of the vanguard still coursing through its veins as it stumbles through these lands, cursing the fates of that which the church has worked so hard to build. Hunt it like a beast. Okay. And then I could... Ooh, wait. There does appear to be area down here to jump to. Which has a dimmy shade. And I can't go in there or anything, so... Cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, those were, those were worth. I don't think there's anything else kind of hiding on the ground here. Oh, no, there is. Cheeky. Cheeky. I just thought I would check. And yep, I spoke too soon. Alright, out we go. So, now that we've done that, let's just continue to the right here and see what we got. Check out every corner and then we can start working on like, you know, oh, there's locked doors and stuff. Cause I don't even know which one of these will actually unlock with the key. Since it, the game doesn't differentiate between a locked door or uh, just a closed door, basically. Um, so we will have to 
keep an eye on that. Okay. You are very cheeky. Ow. Cannot get up here. There we go. There we are. Give. Beautiful. And jump and back. Kablamza, kablamza. And take me up. Might have been a secret wall down there somewhere. Uh, like right here? No. Whoop! I meant to jump there. Okay, let's do that again. Cool. Whew. Got an itch. There we go. And another elevator. Now it'll come up even higher. Always handy. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I should take this one down too, just to see if there's anything secret hidden at this particular part. Probably not the worst call. But first, let's go over here. And what are you? Uh, hi. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. What is this now? Oh, okay. That's just rude. Oh, that is extra rude. Okay. Okay, well, I got a starving essence out of that. God, this area is huge. There's still stuff over here I haven't even found yet, but this place just goes. Okay. Well, um, let's see what's up here, since I had to work pretty hard to get up here. Okay. Okay. That could have went much more poorly than it did. God, the fact that you can hit me from those places, very, very annoying. Die, please. Thank you. Oof. Yeah, these whip users, no like. Okay, they're dead. Nothing. Okay. Anything? No. Okay, I feel like there's probably spikes here, so no. No spikes, actually. Okay, very, very cute of you. Ow, you lived with like one HP. How dare you. The oxide bullets. That enemy really, really would just belong straight in Blasphemous. Like, the, the Blasphemous in inspiration is definitely out in full force for this game. Um, because there's definitely a lot of enemies I see where I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> hey, it's Blasphemous. Obviously, way less, uh way less, uh, like, real-world religion. Well, not real-world religion, I guess. I guess not. They're in, in way less Spanish. There's not really real-world religion in Blasphemous, but... There's a lot of, like, iconography from it and stuff, I guess would be a better way to describe it. And a lot of themes. Whereas this, um, the religion and stuff feels a bit more... Uh... Okay, so that's just so I can get back up there. Um, and this, the religion and everything else going on feels a bit more video gamey. Uh, hi. Oh my God, there's a lot going on in here. Let me just get up here. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, you enjoy that. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. And you're dead. That enemy is pretty, uh, pretty cool. I like that enemy. It's a neat one. So there was an item up here, so... That's not a far... That's not a jump I can make. Where did you come from? Well, I gotta add a marker for this. Um... Oh, hey, does it? 
I was wondering what that was. Does it actually list death pits now? That's nice of it, it's so. I think that's what this red is. Um, because I saw this on another bit of the map, and, and I thought it was just like, you know, saying it like transition to a different area or something. But yeah, no, they actually list what is a death pit and, and, and what is not now. Like a kill plane. That's nice. That's, that's nice. Because, especially in a game like this, and just Metroidvanias in general, you so often want to like, rub your face on every single bit of the map that's not completely filled in, so I bet a lot of people were like me and jumping in pits to see if they could find something secret. So the fact that they clearly mark them is, uh, pretty phenomenal, I must say. Good update. Good update. Very, very good update. Alright. Pop that, and we're good. It almost feels like at this point, now that we're kind of getting later in the game, um, I wish there had been like a few more weapon options at the beginning. The weapon options at the beginning were a little lackluster. Um, also just more stigma options in general. Obviously these aren't... something like that I don't think is something that, uh... You know, depending on how many stigmas in the game, I don't, I, I don't think that's something they could fix with an update. But it would have been cool to have some more stigmas at the beginning. Um, and just a few more options of weaponry. Because, um... Obviously, if, it, if this is like most other games, usually what uses the inferior upgrade material, you don't really want to be using at this point. So it's not like I can just randomly decide, oh, you know what, I'm going to go back to my whip. I mean, it may be different than like, you know, Eliza P, Elden Ring, some of the later Dark Souls games, but generally in those, like once you start hitting like boss weapons and things, things that upgrade with twinkling and stuff, they're just better. Um... Hmm, that one has like a- oh no, they all on this side have that coming down. I was like, that one kind of had like a little curtain thing. I wonder if that was marking that it was a secret thingy to me. Wait, you see that? Oh, okay, that was just like a odd graphic on the map. It looked like there was like a little thing here. Um, but yeah, usually- and it, it's weird because like, I never felt like boss weapons were- Kind of like you had to use a boss weapon by the end of the game in like Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. But uh, in Dark Souls like 3 and Elden Ring, yeah, you absolutely want to be using like boss weapons or something of the same tier by the end of the game. So it's very much like a thing that kind of changed. Because, yeah, if you if you wanted to just go through the entire game just rocking the battle axe that you started with, you, you could. So... But we're we're not we're not playing that. I'm talking about different things right now. So <laughs> we are playing different things. Okay, that would have killed me if I had stayed on it. I believe. God, I really need that double jump. It would be so helpful to have that double jump. Tell you what, they really really like their hiding the items right here, don't they? Also, is this death? It's actually not. Huh. I mean, I kind of don't want to fall because... I don't think I can get back up from that. But, um... Cool. There you go. You enjoy that. Oh, I didn't mean to leave the screen. That was my bad, friend. I'm sorry. Bang. Oh, nice, uh... Nice follow-up there. You're unfortunately very, very easy to deal with because I can kind of just roll past you. Unfortunately for you. Fortunate for me. No, nope, you tried though. Poor guy. Alright, so that's taken care of. Ah, we have a little uh, checkpoint here. Okay, um, are we walking into a boss fight? I hope not. We might be walking into a boss fight. We're very late in the video, you understand. The last faith, please. Ooh. Ooh. We might be in a boss fight. Let's see, do I have... No, I don't have the thing that gets rid of, uh, Frost. Let's put that on. Okay, what, what, what is it? Oh, okay, it's just one of these. 
Okay, that's not nearly as bad. Uh-huh. Not nearly as bad. Gotcha. Alright, let me go ahead and just pop a heal real quick, just to be safe. There you go. Oh god, not these stupid things. Uh-huh. Okay. Ow. Heal. Okay, it died. It died from its nightmare. Okay. Ow. I'll take it. Heat magic. Whoop. Ah. Heat magic. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Whoop. Okay, we're good. Oof. Two of the horrors at once is, uh... Pretty spooky. I like to think I handled that fairly well, though. Uh. Yeah, those things are scary. Luckily, I didn't get frozen, so... Bye-bye. Slashy, slashy. There we go. Oh, hey, just more of you, huh? Nope, none of that. I haven't been using this a ton. Oh! Okay. Almost got myself killed using it. Huh. Okay. Okay. You know, see? Oof. Thank you. So that's one of the ones on the crazy door. It's one of the ones on the crazy door. Um... Did I actually mark that crazy door? It's this, right? I think it's that. I think it's that because I marked that. This is like the tree that I think I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Oh, okay. But yeah, them marking uh death zones is quite nice. Very very happy with this change. I must say. No, you don't. Die. Uh-huh. There's a whole lot of them in this room. Which is cool with me, because I get a ton of Nycrux for killing them all. But those enemies are great for my wallet. Um, Can I make that? I think I can. Ooh, yeah, no, we can make that. Alright. No, we can make that. Don't you even, don't you even, come on. Oh, come on, it looks like it's, it really, really looks like Eric should be grabbing that ledge. Damn, really? Okay, I'll add a marker for it. But damn, it really looks like Eric would be able to reach that. That's frightfully close. Okay, whatever, I can deal. All right, so that is done. Now what? Can't actually go up, so we are going to need to go down. I keep just feeling like I need to smack the walls there a little bit. Okay, so this gets me back to this. So I can actually go over here and hit up this room really quickly. Because I'm sure it's one of the things that is actually unlocked by uh, the key that I currently have. So that's cool. Yeah, just right down here. Come on, this has got to be something. No. Uh-huh, hi. God, there's a lot of enemies here. Jeez. A lot of very, very high profit enemies too. God. Alright, open. Okay, it's just another one of these. Alright, well, we're gonna be getting a cool weapon soon, I guess. Okay, nothing else. Cool. Alright, I think that is pretty much that done. So, up and over. And we can go turn in our Nycrux and I guess end this episode off. Phew. 
Good progress, though. This area is massive. It's so huge. It is, a, it is a monster, mammoth of a zone. Like, look at it. There's all these doors I haven't opened, and it's still continuing. It's pretty crazy. Um, so. Alright, let's go get our level ups. Because I still don't have a rare pl uh, prototype blueprint, so I can't do that. But I can go back and just get more levels. That's the other thing I'm surprised we still found more of. I'm still shocked we only have th this many of these. Like, truly? Truly. Alright. Um, boom. That's still a good amount. Boom. That is still a good amount as well. Okay. I mean, I will keep leveling mine. I'm imagining 40 is where it's going to drop off, and then I'll swap to strength. I'm thinking 40. Gotta be. Absolutely gotta be. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.